Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, back in the same spot recording um, because my house is so dark and this is about the only point of the day which I can get some light in so to show off some things for you guys. But um, yeah, these are my most worn items. Um, I guess a collection of things that I've gotten over the past couple of years. Um, I feel like my turnover of clothes is pretty heavy um, and if I don't like something or if I'm not getting use out of it, I get rid of it pretty quick. Um, so I guess it's kind of all these pieces are tried and tested um, and kind of stay heavy in my rotation. So um, yeah, I guess these are a few pieces of footwear um, and mainly pants and a few accessories. So those are kind of the main things that I gravitate towards um, on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, let's start off with footwear. Um, here we have some Priya Fasane clogs. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but this is kind of the shoe um, that sparked my love for mules and clogs. Um, I guess, yeah, from before then it was just, you know, sneakers and dress shoes um, and didn't really see any need to kind of go in, down that avenue of mules and clogs. But um, yeah, these were my, well, I just saw them on sale and I was like, I just, you know, got to try them because I do really like the Paisley print. Um, and I guess that's kind of a very common theme or I think a lot of Paisley print is used throughout um, her work. So I'm, um, yeah, big fan of that. Um, even looking back, I think there's a few of, of these models in like pony hair and things like that, which I'd like to get my hands on, which is, I guess, something that I'm kind of liking at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is my first mule or clog um, that kind of, yeah, sparked my my love for them, as you'll see in the few next pieces, but yeah. All right, um, next we have the Our Legacy Camion Mules. Um, I don't think these need any introduction. Um, I think everyone's seen them in some capacity, being the boot. Um, or the mule there, I mean, very, yeah, very popular. And I think, yeah, personally for um, for good, because they are, um, yeah, so, so nice. Um, these are, are definitely a daily wear. Um, yeah, through summer, I like wearing them with shorts just because um, I think, yeah, they're very wearable with um, shorts and, you know, no socks and things like that. But also um, when you're throwing on some pants, I really like the toe of them. It kind of, yeah, I guess is very similar to the, the boot. Um, you can't even tell the difference when um, you've got the pants on, which is kind of cool. Um, so it's, yeah, very versatile in that um, way. But, um, yeah, was able to pick these up when I yeah, visited London um, in the Our Legacy store. So, um, yeah, very happy with those. And um, going to keep using them as a daily wear, I think, for, yeah, at least a couple more years. So, um, there. All right. Uh, next we have is the, surprise, surprise, another set of uh, Alexi Camion Mules. Um, these are in the white painted colour. These are probably the most cooked shoes you ever see. Um, I think, yeah, if you can find a photo of how they first looked, which is, yeah, completely white, kind of looked like a clean leather. Um, but, yeah, see if you can see that, even the buckle. Um, I think these are... <laughs> Yeah, absolutely stunning now. Um, even yeah, better when I first got them. I think it's so interesting how they've kind of worn over time and how the leather's kind of cracked. Um, and yeah, they've just kind of changed and changed and changed the more you wear them. Um, these are so comfortable as as well to wear once I've yeah broken them in. Um, can walk yeah miles and miles and miles without getting any blisters or anything, which is yeah super super cool for like a shoe like that because I guess. Any other le leather piece and things, you, I don't know, I find myself blistering pretty heavy, but um, yeah, I think it kind of even gives that, I think well, the thing that reminds me most is like, is that kind of Margiela um, painted shoe, which is, I think, you know, what goes over through their boots and um, sneaks and things like that, which is a very, um, yeah, cool idea. And I think it's been adopted by a few other um, brands and things like that. So, yeah, same as our legacy. Um, I can't say if they taken any inspiration from that, but yeah, it looks very similar to those things. So yeah, that's the white um, cameo mule. 
All right, next we have is my only sneaker, which is the German Army Trainer. This specific brand is BW Sport. Um, I ended up getting these when I went to Paris. Uh, I think this place called Brute Vintage. Um, I didn't know it was so prestigious or very, I don't know, very popular. Um, after I came back and seen yeah, heaps of videos of people visiting and I mean, it was very good, um, but I guess more military things and French workwear is not exactly what I'm super keen on. So um, these were the only things I picked up. I think it cost me like 20 bucks a AUD. Um, but yeah, I guess I kind of got these because I needed like a beta shoe to walk around. I was blistering in some other shoes. Um, I guess um, I was also, yeah, pretty keen on the Margiela replicas. Um, and it was kind of a good revenue to go down, um, being able to try out some something like this, which is basically identical, um, to see if I, you know, before you want to shell out a little bit more money, um, a fair bit more money actually. But I think for now, I don't actually reckon I'll get, um, even though I do like these, I don't think I'll, um, yeah, upgrade to the Gats because um, I found out I don't, yeah, really get too much wear out of them nowadays. Um, but yeah, these just yeah, beaters that I'm able to chuck on every day and they, yeah, do get a fair bit of wear, but um, yeah, those are the gats. All right, next we have the most worn thing out of anything I've ever owned ever. Um, here we have the Doc Martens loafers. Um, had these for about four years. I actually wish I could somehow figure out how far I've walked in these. It literally, it'd have to be thousands and thousands of kilometers. Um, luckily, I mean, they fit, fit me pretty well. Um, I never had any blistering. I've never had any like breaking issues or blistering um, with these shoes. I don't drag my feet, so the heels have kind of stayed relatively good. Um, and I've always tried to keep care of them. Even though, yeah, I guess these are technically my, I, well, I've used the, the term beta shoe for these. Um, because yeah, if I'm going out and I know people are gonna step on my feet, um, or I know I'm getting yeah get drinks spilled on me, or um, it's gonna get or if it's raining, just anything kind of like you know like that. Um, these are what come out. So um, yeah, definitely my most worn thing I reckon I've ever ever worn. Um, lowest cost per wear ever I think for these shoes. So um, yeah, recommend getting some of those if you're kind of looking looking for that. All right, moving on to clothing. Uh, we've got our first item, which is the uh, uh, Acne Studios uh, pleated short. Um, for ages, I was looking for um, a very, like, you know, a smart short. Um, and, yeah, ended up trying these ones on when I went to London and, yeah, fell in love with them. Um, I feel like, um, it, yeah, it's a very easy thing to throw on with a lot of things. Um, if, yeah, if I find I'm, a, you know, got to race out the house, these are most of the time the first things that I grab um, in warm weather. Um, only issue that I've had with these is, I guess, I don't know if it's just these ones, but the quality control. Um, first time when I bought these, the pockets were cooked, like had holes in them. So all my shit, my keys were falling out on the floor. Um, and that was in both uh, pockets. Um, ended up stitching them back and then... Um, they, yeah, broke through again, which was pretty cooked, so not happy about that, but I think I fixed the issue for now. Um, yeah, got a double pleat uh, through the front, and I always try to keep them um, pressed, because I do like that that look with the crease down the middle, so um, yeah, Acne Studios wide, I think wide pleated trousers, or pleated short. All right, next uh, item of clothing is the Acne Studios 2021 denim uh, in black. Um, I've had these for a couple years um, and yeah, definitely my most worn piece of denim. Um, what was so interesting to me when I first got these was the actual wash of them. Um, I feel like some days I really like it, some days I don't. Um, quite a dark, but with the, the wash through it, it does become quite light, especially through the, the quad and yeah, quad area where there's a bit more wear. Um, 
yeah, they are quite light through those areas. And for that reason, I actually haven't washed them and they've probably been worn like 50 times. So I'm a bit nervous about that. I'll have to get onto that soon. But um, yeah, everything about the shape of these, I've loved um, the nice or massive wide opening for your shoes. Um, and for me, it was perfect length. I think they're 30s, um, 30 inch inseams. I've only got a little bit of heel bite going on and that's over the, you know, been over two years with yeah massive amounts of wear. Um, so, and I guess that's probably me getting around without shoes or taking, taking my mules off or something like that, dragging my feet. Um, but yeah, definitely my most worn set of denim. Um, and I think, yeah, they'll still get a fair bit of wear. I think I'm kind of transitioning towards maybe a little bit more of like a grayer um, set of denim. I think there was an old eight, 1989 set of Acne Studios jeans, which I'm yeah, trying to get my hands on because I do love the wash. Um, but yeah, for now, I think, you know, these are still such a nice set um, with the nice pink details and yeah, the pink stitching in the middle as well on the inside. So yeah, that's the Acne Studios 2021 denim. All right, the next and final piece of clothing um, is these blue jeans. I'll give you a second to guess if you can, yeah, can you can guess what brand these are. Um, yeah, these are the Uniqlo uh, women's wide straight jean. Um, I know, yeah, I guess a lot of, you know, some other pieces like the shorts, and the other jeans being Acne Studios um, is kind of a little bit more expensive and a bit of an investment, I guess. Um, but I'm always looking out for something a little bit cheaper or a cheaper alternative. Um, I feel like the stitching and things like that, the quality is for sure noticeably worse. Um, but I've still worn these for over a year um, as yeah, my second most set worn set of jeans and um, yeah, they're just incredible for the price. I think it's like 80 bucks or something like that. Um, I guess the difference between some of the wide jeans uh, that, that Uniqlo make compared to the, for the men compared to the women is the, the leg opening. Um, it's, yeah, massive, um, which means, yeah, stacks on your shoes really nicely. And I just kind of like that straight, um, straight kind of cut or, and if, Preferably a little bit wide towards the bottom with a bit of a flare just so yeah um, Sits on your shoes better or that's I guess all preference, but um, yeah That's one massive thing for me and kind of a deal breaker if a set of denim has too tight of a too, uh, too tight of a um, Opening at the bottom and yeah doesn't sit on your your shoes, right? It just kind of looks yeah whack to me and um, yeah, kind of when it stacks and things like that Yeah, I'm just never gonna get anywhere out of them because I just yeah hate that type of thing, but um, yeah, the Uniqlo wide straight denim or women's cut. All right, next we'll move on to eyewear. Um, starting off with my actual seeing glasses or spectacles. Um, these Celine eyewear. I'll tag the actual model number in the description because it's too long to say, but just a bunch of letters and numbers. But um, yeah, I feel like glasses are, for me, like, yeah, me personally, is just so important. I feel like everyone that wears glasses, it's, you know, your absolute identity, um, wearing them because I have to wear them, yeah, the minute I wake up and the minute I go to bed. So, um, it's what everyone knows me for, I feel, um, you know, it's, and changing glasses is kind of funny sometimes because it just, you know, can look so different. Um, but yeah, so important if you're wearing them all day every day finding something you actually really like and really enjoy um, And that's yeah, I guess something that I'm not afraid to Kind of spend a little bit more money on because yeah, I'm going to wear them every day and yeah I've already gotten yeah, a year and a half out of them and I'll probably wear them for a little bit longer I think I will kind of upgrade as or get some new ones as I have um you know, private, private healthcare clicks over the new year, you get a bit of money back. Um, but yeah, for now, these are, yeah, super happy with these and um, yeah, keep wearing them every day. So yeah. 
Um, next, we move on to my sunglasses. Um, here we have the Celine or black sunglasses. I think the style is 04, the number 04. Um, yeah, these are another thing that I wear every day. I don't have a prescription in these, but I'll wear, if I'm going out for a long time, I'll just chuck uh, contact lenses in or switch between them because yeah, I can't really see when I'm driving. Um, yeah, these for me are just like the pinnacle of sunglasses, like the shape and everything about them. Um, it's just, I mean, I hate, hate to use like cliches, like it's timeless, um, but they truly are just like a shape that's never gonna go out of um, out of style um, and can be worn by like a variety of uh, face shapes I feel um, but yeah the second I tried these on I was I just I just need them um, and yeah I've had these for a couple years now and um, yeah wear them basically every day so um, yeah that's about it all right I actually almost forgot one piece which is a wool knit um, from JW Anderson uh, just like a green logo um, the, the actual knit is, yeah, so interesting. It's kind of like a round, um, knit and it's got some cable through it. Um, if you can kind of see through there. Um, yeah, it's not in the best condition because I have worn it so much. I need to get, um, the machine out and get rid of all the, um, wall balls and burrs on it. Um, yeah, I think the logo, con the yellow, yeah, logo contrasts so well on the green. Um, just like made out of felt. I think you can kind of see just the texture on it actually is yeah, so sick. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, because I have worn it so much, um, I would like to wear it more, but it is kind of stretching. I've never hung it up. I've never yeah, hung it up on like a hanger. I'm always folding it and putting it back in the box. But because the uh, knit or the way that the knit's done is um, it is quite loose. Um, so over the shoulders, it's definitely stretched and you can kind of see, you know, if you're wearing a white t-shirt, um, you know, you can see that through, which I don't really like. And, um, the fit has kind of changed, you know, slouches down a bit. Um, but yeah, it actually fits quite cropped as well, which, um, yeah, super nice. So it's not hanging down by your knees. Um, even then there's, yeah, there's actually yellow, um, kind of accent piece or like, yeah, little... Uh, try to see if you can see it in the video, but um, little yellow pieces in the in the green knit as well, which kind of contrasts with the the yellow logo. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, but yeah, the JW Anderson uh, logo knit is definitely yeah one of my most worn jumpers in winter. All right, that's the end for all my most worn items. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.